Hey, 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 we're back. We're back. We're all the way back, baby. Whew. Boy, this weekend was rough. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much right now. Not the ideal weekend <laughs> to debut some indoor arena football, man. Um, let me tell you, um, there is some things that happened. You know, so we got some preseason snoozers that happened. Um, the Idaho Horsemen, and we'll talk about them first. Played the Desert Sentinels, beat them 57 to 14. Um, main issue is that, well, actually, there were two issues with this whole thing that Idaho got themselves together. They still got the same stuff from last year, you know, the same graphics from last year. So that's 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 fine and everything like that. But the problem is, is that they they streamed the game on their own YouTube channel. You would think that the game would go on the NAL YouTube channel. It did not. It did not. Um, so it's on Idaho's YouTube page. So go ahead if you want to look at that for like 30 minutes. I mean, you can. Uh, it was rough for like a quarter and a half, really. Because Idaho didn't know what to do. Um, the Nets there looked very awkward. That's the second thing. The Nets looked very awkward looking. And I bet you they didn't even come to play. So really, um, I know there's some people that are very, very pro-Nets. Uh, I'm just going to be real with you. The Nets have not. You know, maybe maybe the sexiest man in indoor football was right, Todd Tryon. He was right. Maybe he was right. After all, <laughs> there's just no reason to have nets at this point. I mean, tonight we have the Colorado Spartans who beat the brakes off of Northern Colorado, uh, some other semi-pro outdoor team, seventy to twelve. They also got off to a rough start. They didn't even use the. They didn't even have the nets put together. They had this weird-looking, you know, steel cage-looking type setup on the end zones and they didn't even have to do extra points or anything like that. So it it looked very um like when Billings had to go to a secondary arena for the playoffs um a year ago. It was rough. A year or two ago I think. I think it was either last year or the year before that when Billings had to play home games in the playoffs in an alternate venue and it just looked weird. Um yeah. That was that was that was not good. It's not fun football. Um Sioux City, of course, you know, they know how to take care of non-conference uh, non-league opponents. 49-14 over Minneapolis. Um the Great Lakes Arena Football. Of course, we all know this is West Michigan's pet league, their pet project, their I don't want to go anywhere but stay at the Trinity Health Arena type league, you know, where I do not want to pay league fees. I do not want to, you know, go on the road. You know, that is what West Michigan does, and they easily take care of business against Tri State. Just the fans be calling for it. I'm calling for it. Move up. It's time. It's time. I've had enough. This is the last year I need to see this type of nonsense from you guys. The fans showed up which is crazy. The fans showed up after like nine months of inactivity on your Facebook page. The fans showed up. You, you know, you got yourselves together in like February, late February, early parts of March. You got yourselves together, you know, doing your thing. And a simple team, everything's assembled. Team, head coach, coaching staff, Owners still, you know, in great shape. They're just apparently the Columbus Lions can piss you off enough to where, you know, you know, I, I would say, you know, take that beef and put that on the field, please. Please, you know, if you really want, if you really want to, just go play the Columbus Lions, West Michigan. We we really want you to do that. We would want you to do that. Columbus needs some games anyway. Um, but yeah, um, West Michigan's gonna take a couple weeks off. Who knows what the rest of the Great Lakes Arena football schedule is? All we know is that three 
of West Michigan's four games have been confirmed. Their four home games so far, they'll have one more after that, obviously. And that's really all the games in the GAL that matter are West Michigan's home games because they're not going to go on the road. We all know this. And then the AIF tonight, Amarillo debuted. They beat the brakes off of uh, some other outdoor team, 82-26. to 26, And that was too easy. What was it? Too easy. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. It looked nice. Amarillo's field, you know, it was kind of weird looking. But at the same time, the field looked nice. The goalposts looked like actual goalposts, you know, no awkward looking nets or anything like that. It's just, it was just nice. It was clean, you know. Obviously, they had one camera and everything like that. So, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of weird to follow everything. So they had the can camera like in the middle of the field and everything for a good chunk of the game, but it's, it's all right. It, it, at least in like dead ball situations, they had the camera in the middle of the field. But yeah, that was that. Um, the IFL's got, the only other real thing is the IFL has a, another streaming platform they will put games and stuff on called Caffeine. Honestly, it's another young and up-and-coming platform that you know people use, but at the same time, do people really use it? We'll see if people start to use it more during the season and everything like that. We get the IFL season starts in earnest, and we really get the ball rolling with actual games that matter for everybody else next Friday night. So, um, and the other thing is for the AFL, honestly, there's the whole Philly situation, which still hasn't been solved. But there's, uh, there's really no time to talk about that right now because we're about six weeks away from the season. And the other thing is, is that New Orleans gets three additional home games inside some type of barn casino type thing. Who cares at this point? You know, I just want the AFL to finally play it down or whatever. Um, I know they confirmed another game for, like, Salina on the NFL Network. But, again, the NFL Network has to say something, and so does the AFL. That's the only way that can be confirmed is that the AFL has to say something. And the, net, the NFL Network themselves have to say something. The NFL Network, we all know, is probably going to say it like one week before the AFL actually kicks off. But I need the AFL to say something. I don't need to hear, you know, from, oh, well, t well, well, Rep Hacked, Tim Capper, you know, he said this, or Sam Sh or Sam Shady said this, or Arena Fan said this, or Pro Arena Talk said this, or even Jim or anybody else, you know. I want the AFL to say it. That's it. That's all I need. That's the only person I need to hear from is the AFL themselves. I need the AFL to confirm it. Yeah, I need to see it on the AFL Twitter page, the AFL Facebook, the AFL uh, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, whatever, uh, TikTok, whatever. All I need to hear the AFL and NFL Network partnership from is the, is the AFL themselves and maybe the NFL Network. That's all I need to hear it from. That's what I want the source to be. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know, we're not gonna have these arguments each and every week because we're gonna keep having these arguments up until uh, April 27th, right? That's when the AFL is supposed to kick off, right? The NFL draft, right? So yeah, for now, I'm not even gonna. You know, go too much more into it. What I am going to do is wrap this up and tell you guys welcome to season four of this week in indoor football welcome to the ride if you haven't seen my latest interview with Dre Sherrell I hope you go and see that or at a Dre Sherrell my bad I always mess up names I'm sorry you know substitute teacher brain going but yeah Dre Sherrell the interview with him is still up it's getting views I need the subs to come along with the views though and everything like that. For me, to you, good night. I'll see you hopefully this time in 12 hours or so with the actual NHL update because I forgot on Friday because of Akira Toriyama passed away. You know, yeah. So, yeah, that's this week. See you soon, everybody.